In this how-to, I'm going to show you how to make your videos a little bit more engaging by using chapters. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll show you how to do it. So one of the most powerful techniques you can use in business is video. People are visual learners. They want to see how to do things via video. That's why you're looking at this right now. And we do a lot of videos, and we use Wistia as the hoster of our videos. So you'll find us on YouTube. We'll put things out there. But for our business, and what we recommend in the business blueprint, the Tech Smart Boss Blueprint, is actually Wistia.com. Now, one of the reasons is they have a lot of powerful features. And one thing that they just added is the ability to add chapters to your video. And these chapters can be very, very uh, powerful in how you deliver videos to your customers. Now, one key tip is that generally the attention span of a user is between three minutes to 12 minutes at the upper side when they're looking at a video. So if you're including videos in your courses and in, in, in your business sites, you have a couple options. You can break them up into little chunks which is okay, but I've had users who complain about having to go through so many steps and look at so many separate videos. This chapter system makes it really, really easy to set up. I'm going to show you how. So what I'm going to do is start my video here. I'm just going to go to an imaginary spot in the video. Let's say this was the beginning of a new chapter called Type of Builder Options. Uh, I can click on Chapters. That'll automatically turn it on, as you can see. It'll have that time stamp where I am currently stopped in the video. I can just click to edit this and, and give it a name. And what this will do is create my chapters icon here in the video that a user can now quickly click right on that and get into that particular video section. Let's go ahead and click to another spot in the video. And normally you would play the video and stop precisely where you wanted it to stop. But let's just say I want to add another chapter here. I'll just put new chapter title. and you'll see that that will be added as well. So now users, as they're navigating and looking at this video, they can quickly scan and see uh, what topics are of interest and immediately go back and forth and skip right to those particular places. Uh, you want to make sure you save that after you do it. The other thing that's really engaging is at a particular point where you're talking in your video about something is to set up a timeline action to give them a specific annotation link, something that they can click to, maybe a blog post or maybe a support article or other resources. And it's the same exact concept. What you could do here is go to a specific place in your video, add that annotation link. You'll see it'll actually timestamp that. And by default, they'll give that for four seconds. But what I like to do is sometimes keep that up a little bit longer. And you'll see you can double click in there and make that. I like to do 10 seconds on my annotation links. And you can put your text, put your hyperlink, hit update, and now you've got a little annotation link, as you can see in your editor here. Always save that. But the end result, if I flip over to, this is our trial site and how people get started with our software. And you'll see that they can come into step one, and they'll have essentially eight chapters here that they can click through and do step one and step two same sort of concept and if they want to come to this page they've bookmarked this or we're going to email them that they can go straight to premium app registration in this case and click on it and it'll take them straight to that particular section with all the annotations right there embedded so hopefully you can get some ideas on how you can leverage this in your business uh, visual learning is a perfect way to go in and when you have technology like Wistia where you can put things like chaptering and annotations it merely ma really makes it user friendly um, for your organization and your for your customers, I should say. Uh, so if you like this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you're uh, not, you want to join our Facebook uh, group. We have a Tech Smart Boss community. So just go out to TechSmartBoss.com. Uh, you can subscribe there. We'll send you the information about the Facebook group. Or if you look in the header, you'll see it right there in the header. So we hope you enjoyed these. Go ahead and sign up for more free tutorials and information about how you can leverage technology to help grow your business.